Look what we woke up to this morning. Looks like we'll have to leave a little earlier than planned. Here we go again. Here we go again. Our flight was canceled because there's is it ice. There's yeah, ice well, in Dallas. Yeah. Well, this is just great. We're sitting on the plane. Corey leans back and tells me that our car is not available. You guys, this is turning into a joke. Flight's canceled, lost car. What else is gonna happen? I just hope we don't hit any ice. 4.45 in the morning, taking the dogs outside to go to the bathroom. You guys ready to come back in? It's cold out there, huh? It snowed, had a snowstorm last night. Corinne and I and Reese are going to be catching a plane this morning. She's going to cheer comp in Dallas, Texas. So this morning, I had to get up. I'm not going to the gym today, but I am going to be doing a run downstairs on the treadmill for an hour from 5 to 6. And then I'm going to go shower and get ready. We have to leave here by 7 o'clock. So I'm going to get Reese up at 6 after I'm done with my run, get some breakfast, get her ready. I was up last night until like 11.30. So typically, like, I go to bed, like, <laughs> maybe 9.30 or 10. I'm, I didn't get as much sleep as I normally get to go and work out in the morning, but it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna do this because I know I'm gonna feel better. I'm gonna be traveling today and I just wanna get my workout in, so I'm doing it. I'm gonna get my pre-workout made first. I need to wake up a little bit, so I'm gonna use my pre-workout here. And I'm gonna be using the Bad Athletics today. This is a grapefruit flavor and it is so good. finished almost did six and a half in one hour but I'll take it I feel pretty good now I can go sit on the plane I also got my 10,000 steps already <laughs> yay look what we woke up to this morning looks like we'll have to leave a little earlier than planned because I have no idea what traffic will be like or the roads now I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna go wake up Reese Corey's already up I can see the light on our bedroom time to get up <laughs> I know. So we have one hour. Well, I don't know. We might have to leave a little earlier, Reese, because it's totally snowing. So we have one hour. We have to be out of here, okay? Yeah. So get up so we can get some breakfast, shower, do what you need to do, and get ready. Lucy knows something's up. She's like, where are you guys going? You're going to be okay. You're going to be here with Kesley and Rhett and Perry. Yep. Guys, Kesley's going to be here taking care of them all by herself. We're heading out. We just said goodbye to Perry. She's upstairs. She's just waking up. We're saying goodbye to Rhett. We love you. Love Listen to Kesley. She's in charge. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, Bye, babies. I'm no, gonna miss you so can't. much. Okay, you guys wanna make sure the dogs go outside frequently, okay? And make sure you what? always give them lots of food and feed them like crazy. Yes, you feed them lots. Oh, I'm gonna miss but, them so much. So we said a prayer. And I was just holding her arms, and then she just kept holding them like this. And we said a prayer we had <laughs> to travel safely. I'm wearing my traveling outfit. You remember this? The traveling outfit is back. Going on an airplane, Bye. so I gotta wear it. We just got some news. Our flight was canceled. <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go again. Our flight was canceled because there's is it ice. There's yeah, ice well, in Dallas. Yeah, Dallas is freezing rain. And Texas is not designed to operate under freezing conditions, so they just have to cancel flights. Yep, so we're trying to figure out a way. We're still going to go because I apparently yeah, let's, everyone's let's, trying let's, to make it work. Let's get to the airport and see what well, they can do. Yeah, every cheerleader is on the phone with, you know, doing the group, group me and everyone's... We're going to make this we're work. We're not the only ones that have been yeah. canceled. Yeah, there's a half Tons. the all been canceled. And it sounds like people even in other states have been canceled because they can't fly into Dallas. They can't fly into Dallas. Because of the ice. So it, it looks to me we may have to fly into another city. So there's surrounding cities like Houston, Oklahoma. San Antonio, Austin, Oklahoma City. Yeah. That are all within about four hours so of Dallas. We're going to so see what we can do, what we can work out. Hopefully we can get on a flight. Otherwise, I'm scared that we... I'm worried that this won't work out. Like, I'm scared that... We won't be able to get on a flight. We have to fly into Houston or something and drive. Oh no. Reese, I really hope we can get on a flight. I'm like so nervous about this. I'm nervous for everyone because everybody's wanting to get it down there. And what if cheer comp doesn't happen this weekend? What if it doesn't happen? We're trying to get a hold of Delta. 
and we have them on a text thread. So it was 80 degrees last week in Dallas. 80 degrees. So of course, when we come, we bring the winter. I always months. feel like we do that. Every vacation we go on, I'm like, we always bring the cold weather with us. It seems like every single time. One of the chair moms just messaged me and she said, have you guys found a flight yet? And I said, not yet. You Track, guys. Freezing rain. Freezing. the roads in Dallas. Rain. What in the world? So she <laughs> said she was able to get to Houston, but then she stranded there because there's no car rentals. Another update. Oh, wait, my glasses. I forgot I had those on. <laughs> I got glasses. I got them finally picked up and I love them. I can actually see and it makes them so nice. But some of the other chair moms found a bus and they left this morning, really, really early. So I guess they're down, they're, they're heading down there. It's gonna be like, what, a straight 16 hour? That's 19 hour drive. 19 hour drive. And I guess they got, did they get the four bus drivers like they thought yeah, they the, would have? the bus driver said that they are gonna switch off their two drivers and they'll drive through the night, basically. So isn't that crazy? I guess they already got their situation situated. And the rest of the people not, who are they're flying? Not, they're not there yet. They're not there yet. However, um, we don't, they don't perform or anything. They don't go on right. until tomorrow. Right. So, I mean, hopefully everyone gets there by tonight. Here, Corey has been talking to one of the reps at Delta, and what did he say, Corey? We got a couple options. They're trying to figure out options, so. Should we go home now? <laughs> the one option they gave us was a red-eye flight tonight, arriving at one o'clock in the morning. Which means we will just have to go home and then come back, or? Well, that, that was one o'clock in the morning to Dallas, but I don't I think that'll happen. Why? Because the freezing rain happens at nighttime. So that cold. would most likely get canceled too. Yeah, I don't want to take that one because then we'd arrive in, da in there at one o'clock in the morning and I'm pretty sure no rental car companies are open at that time. So we just, that's a whole other handful of problems if we do a red-eye flight. Right. There is an option to go to Houston and there's also another option that we could fly to San Antonio. I think Houston is probably about a half an hour closer than San Antonio. Mm -hmm. San Antonio is further south though, so it may be a little bit warmer. Mm -hmm. So we're not dealing with the freezing rain. So I'm tempted to say yes let's go to san antonio but the problem is we gotta find a rental car mm. and then we gotta drive four hours which reminds so, yeah. me that's what my friend was just saying she's like i'm having a hard time finding a rental car mm. um well, she's got her flight to that, the to problem it. is is rental car companies don't like you taking their car from san antonio and then dropping it off in dallas because right. it, they lose inventory right by doing that so they want you to drop it off the same location you picked it up mm -hmm. in this case we can't so I'm gonna have to call the rental car company and see if they have any options. Should we do that first before we actually yeah. schedule this flight or change it? Yeah. So we, we have them. We have Delta on hold. Like we told them, they're just like chatting with us. So we I mean, we them. can always pay a million bucks and catch an Uber. <sighs> oh sure, hours, let's why just not? why not? You're thinking um, San Antonio be our best bet. I think San Antonio may be our best and bet. And we will not be canceled. Uh, no, because the temperatures are higher. They're not okay. getting freezing rain in San Antonio. <laughs> you guys, I'm like. Like I, like I said, I've been talking to this this mom and she just said, she's like, I don't even, she's like, I'm dying. She's like, why are we even still trying at this point? The chances of having everybody and all the full teams there to compete is seems highly unlikely, which is very true. So, okay, you know, Reese, this could just end up being a vacation to... Texas. San Antonio and Dallas, I guess. <laughs> After about 20 minutes of sitting here, <laughs> we got a car rental in San Antonio. So we scheduled our flight going in. I think that this might happen. Now, hoping the rest of the team gets there, that's a different story. We'll keep you posted. The only problem is now we gotta enjoy our five hour, four hour drive. I know, that part I'm not looking forward to because if you guys followed along with our other video, we've, or, we've already been in traffic. <laughs> we were driving home from St. George, seven hours in a car. You weren't even there, you lucky girl. St. George is only a four hour drive and we were in traffic in the snow, having a huge snowstorm. You guys just go watch that video if you haven't. I think it's called, Rhett's disappointed or Rhett's mad or something like that. I can't remember because I haven't posted it yet. I'm going to make a title for it. Because they had to rebook our flight, we don't sit by each other. So we're all kind of in rows by each other, but we don't sit by each other. So I'm hoping that somebody will let me switch with them so I can sit next to Reese.
Well, this is just great. We're sitting on the plane. Corey leans back and tells me that our car is not available. We're walking in the airport. Let's just say this is um, an adventure. Reese, are we gonna make it to your cheer cup? <laughs> no idea. This is, uh, you guys, this is turning into a joke. It's one of those situations where you're gonna laugh or cry about it. To me, it's just more comical. Hopefully we find a way there. We got a car. I don't know how we got so lucky, but we got a car. <laughs> I'm telling you, this has been an adventure, Corey. All the way. Hallelujah. Now we're gonna get some food because we're all hungry, a little hangry. You know, trying to be in good spirits. We got it all put into the phone. We're finally getting out of here. We're gonna get something to eat. You guys, four <sighs> hours and... Four and a half hours. Four and a half hours mm -hmm. to Dallas. The end is in sight. It is. And we're not the only ones doing this. Everybody's doing this. I know, this. everybody's doing this. That's what they were saying. They're like, there are so many people going from Houston, coming from uh, Houston going. to Dallas. It's like, oh, come on. It is as cold here in Texas as it is in Utah. It is freezing. We're gonna go to Jersey Mike's. We pulled into this place. And I'm like, Corey, there's Torchy's Tacos. Torchy's Tacos. We have heard tons of things about it. In fact, you guys, we were actually going to open up a franchise. We were looking at opening a Torchy's Tacos. But they're franchise. privately owned and they didn't. They don't franchise. They don't franchise that. We were gonna open one in Utah. And anyway, we heard really good things about it. We haven't even tried their food. Let's go. But we've heard way too many people say, you've got to get a Torchy's Tacos we're here going in Utah. To Torchy's, Reese. You ready for Torchy's? Wait, and so, yeah. You guys were gonna open one. Yes, we, we were talking about doing it. This was last year. This oh, was last year. Nice. Yeah, we were gonna do that. We were a crumble cookie, and we decided to do tor we wanted to do torchies, but it didn't work out. Look at this. Look at their queso. Okay, let's try it out. Tell me what you think, Grace. Might have a little bit of spice on it. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> okay then. Bon appetit, guys. Bon appetit. Here is my chicken tacos. Reese got the green chili taco. And Corey got the Democrat. Uh, it's what a is it? It's like barbacoa beef. and beef, yeah. So you just have to tell me what you think about that. I didn't realize mine were two tacos, so I might have to share with Corey. Because I don't think I will eat all that. You know I'll eat whatever you can. <laughs> no. So far we're loving everything, you guys. This is awesome. I just took a bite of this and it's so good. Can't wait to see what you think, because you were wondering about the barbacoa. Good? Grace is FaceTiming Perry right now, and look, there's Bay. Where's Grandma? Oh, hi, Grandma. Oh, you guys, I miss my baby so much. Oh, Bay. Oh, hello, hi, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Oh, Sophia the first. Where are you, Soph? Oh, there you are. Hi, Sophia. One of my AirPods just died. I miss you so much, Sophia. Do you miss us? We miss you. I wish you I could be here. Go I know, but you know what? April will be here soon, and then we can all go to Disneyland for Reese's Cheer Comp, which will be so fun. We made our first stop at Wahlberg Travel Center. It got just like some treats at the gas station. <laughs> I'm grabbing some Sour Patch Kids. And you guys, it's a huge gas station. No, the bathroom. No, the bathrooms are so nice. So big and nice. And there's so many gas stations. I know. Every person we've like interacted with in Texas so far has been so nice. I know. They have been. Like nicest people. It makes all the difference. When you smile at someone, it makes all the difference. I just love nice people. We got some water. Um, Perfect. That's what we need. We got some. We're going to use some of our own little drink stuff inside here. I got my mixers and Corey has some zip fizz he's going to put in here. And then Corey and I, yeah, we just got some treats. Now yeah. we can just go on with our We're drive. We're just trying to enjoy the drive. You guys, how much longer do we have? Like two, two hours? hours? Two hours, guys. For all my Texans. Whatever you got. Canes, we got Canes. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. And Whataburger. And Whataburger. We have seen several Whataburger. Every. Every, mile. like, it seems like every 25 yeah, miles. Just There's Baylor right there. We've been driving forever. It's 6.15. We will probably be... Another 45 minutes, maybe an hour. We made another stop to fill up the car with gas. And when we get here, <laughs> Corey's like, where's my credit card? I'm like, where's my phone? I don't know. He's so, oh, wait, we're like tracking back all of our stuff. The last place we used our credit card was at Torchy's. And then we used a different one at the other gas station. So we've had two credit cards, but the one, we, 
we can't find. We don't know if it's maybe fell out of his pocket and it's somewhere in this car, or <laughs> if we left it at Torchy's in San Antonio. While we were in that last gas station, Reese spotted her name and it's spelled exactly how she spelled it. We always see R-E-E-C-E, -E -E, but we have never got an R-E-E-S-E, -E, so we grabbed that one. And then we grabbed her middle name, where it's Paige. Reese Paige, and she put them on her little backpack for chair. Home sweet home. This is our apartment tour. <laughs> our hotel tour right here. Kitchen. Family room. <laughs> Office. Bedroom. Closet. Bathroom. That's it. Corey's over here. I fell asleep on the couch right here. Corey ran to Target with Reese and he went and got some stuff for tomorrow to eat and just for while we're here. Reese is downstairs. A lot of the girls are starting to arrive. Um, we'll keep our fingers crossed that more girls show up before tomorrow because competition starts. We'll also keep you updated with the credit card situation because we don't know about that it yet either. We looked everywhere. It hasn't been a bad day. It's, it's just been one thing after. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the way it's gone, and I can't believe it worked out the way it did. We got here, it's just been a really long day. Yeah, but, but... When, we, when we found out our flights were being canceled, I think mentally we kind of prepared for it. It's like, okay, this is gonna be a long <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I think the part that scared me the most was not a car. I was worried about that, I'm like, oh great. How are we supposed to get? I thought we were for sure gonna be spending the night in San Antonio. We made it here, that's all that matters. We'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.